everyone, me again, welcome back to Xamelia X and a mini haul video with New Look. So a couple of weeks ago, New Look asked me if I wanted to do a little mini haul video uh, with them, centred around one of this season's biggest trend, which is the kimono. And I of course said yes please, because I love kimonos. So I have picked one of their beautiful floral kimonos from their website and two outfits to go with it, just to show you how I would style up a kimono in two different ways for the summer season. So let's start with the kimono that I actually picked out. Now New Look have got so many on their website, so be warned that you're gonna have to sit down with a cup of tea and really pick widely because there's just so many to choose from. But I picked this one from their Parisian collection. It's a lovely cream color with these pink and purple flowers all the way down and then tassels at the bottom. It's kind of like a mid-length kimono uh, with the bat wing sleeves on it, like short sleeves there. I don't know if you can see actually. Ooh, there you go. So it has got sleeves because some of them are kind of like um, tank tops almost with no sleeves on them. Some of them have got really long sleeves. This is a short sleeve one and it's also got a tasselly little bottom. And I absolutely love it. And this was $24.99 I think. Yeah, $24.99 and I got it in a size 8. Um, and it's really floaty. It's such a lovely summery colour. As you can see, you can kind of see through it. Um, so it's nothing too heavy. It's perfect for those summer days. Um, and I think it's lovely. I've already got one from Boohoo and it was a little bit darker. It's kind of like a navy blue so I wanted something that's a bit lighter that will go with a lot more things and this one is absolutely perfect. So the first outfit I picked to go with it is kind of a more casual look. It's something that I would probably rock on holiday or if I was just going to pop to the shops and do a bit of shopping or go for lunch with friends because it involves shorts so you are relying on good weather. Um, and these are the Chino shorts, they're from the casual range. I got these in a size 10 because I'm a little bit bigger on the bottom than I am on the top. Um, and it comes with this lovely detailed faux leather belt with a gold buckle, a lovely brown wooden button and a rolled hem there. And these aren't too short but they're not too long either they're not like super super hot panty so if you're a little bit self-conscious these are probably just about the right length they've got little pockets on the back there and they are this lovely kind of stone color really really natural again natural colors to keep in with the kimono and the best part is they're only $14.99 and they do come in a lot of other colors so um, they're not going to break the bank they're a proper wardrobe staple for the summer months and then to go with my shorts, I kind of broke one of my rules. I really don't like all of these 90s fashioned, really thin strappy tops. Um, purely because I've just got horrible flashbacks of 90s fashion when I used to wear all these things before and I'm like, oh, it looked so awful, so I just don't think I can carry it off. Um, but I broke my rule and picked up one of those uh, tops and unfortunately I actually really like it. It's this um, v-neck kind of cami top with the little strappy sleeves and then it's just kind of like a boxy but um, quite floaty design there. It's not super short, it looks really short but it's not like um, crop top size. It is normal uh, size there but it's definitely not long line. Um, and I really really like it and I would just wear this with a little black bandeau kind of top slash bra underneath because it's a little bit see-through so it's really light for summertime but you can't you have to really stare to be able to see through it so I just wear a little um, bandeau kind of jersey top that I think I got from ASOS it was about five pounds um, and that's how I kind of style that because you don't want to be seeing bra straps um, and I always find that the, the bras with no straps are just really uncomfortable for me so that's how I wear mine and as you can see it just kind of brings it's kind of a smart top so it kind of brings um, up the shorts in a way if that makes sense um, and then also you've got your kimono on top there so it's just a really kind of laid back um, outfit that like I said that I would wear if, you would go, if I was going shopping with the girls or if I'm on holiday and I was just kind of like wandering around uh, and then gonna go for lunch or something like that it's a really relaxed look and I would probably wear that with some um, brown gladiators just to match the belt or um, some black heels if you really wanted to go crazy but I think it's more of a casual look uh, for the daytime Oh, and this cami top was a grand total of $9.99 so again not going to break the bank um, and it's just a little bit better quality than a, just a jersey top I think um, and I think they, they might actually do these in other colours so um, I think I might have to go back and get a white one because I've been converted and my second outfit is more of an evening outfit so I have gone for this beautiful dress which I actually found in the sale um, so it was meant to be $17.99 I think yeah, $17.99, I got it for $13, um, and I ended up getting it in a size 12, because it was the only size left, and um, I really, really liked it, so I just thought, I'm I can make this work. And it's ever so strange, it's um, zipped at the back, it's this lovely kind of peachy colour here, and the straps are a crisscross strap, so it goes 
over like normal and then at the back I was gonna get stuck in that then it goes over like normal and then at the back it's got crisscrossy straps so again you probably can't wear a bra with this one I have actually got a crop top which is exactly the same color as this again from ASOS and which I probably wear under it and do the same as the cami top but it's really really pretty it's got like this crochet um, waistband and it's kind of short and very very floaty so it's perfect for a holiday and uh, the summer months because it is roasting here in England at the moment I'm sweating on my bed here and um, but I just thought that the colors would go really nicely with all the florally bits on this kimono here and um, obviously it's all really really floaty I'd probably wear this again with flat gladiator sandals and I just thought it looked really nice but because the dress is quite plain I also picked up this amazing necklace which you guys are going to love it is from their limited edition collection <sighs> And it's quite expensive. This one was $17.99, which is pretty expensive for a necklace. But look at how detailed and how amazing this necklace is. It's really, really heavy. It's got like these pink little flowers with tiny little pink pearls around it and then a big white pearl in the middle. And it is such a statement necklace that even though this dress is quite plain, it will just jazz it right up instantly. Or if you were just wearing a t-shirt or a round neck uh, dress like this, it just statement necklaces instantly jazz everything up and because the colours are so neutral that would also go with this outfit as well if you wanted to stick that up and make it a bit more upmarket for evening maybe so yes that is quite expensive for a jewellery item it's the most I've probably spent on jewellery in a long long time um, but I, I absolutely loved it so I just had to buy it so that is it guys, that is my new look haul for you, I hope you enjoyed watching it, I know it's only a little one but I think we've got some really good items there and it just shows you the two different ways that you can wear a kimono because they are quite different. So let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer, whether you prefer the sort of um, smart casual shorts and cami top or the floaty dress and big statement necklace, leave me a comment below, let me know. But as always if you enjoyed watching this video please do give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and share the video with everybody you can so we can grow our little YouTube family. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!